Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dream if you are new here and I make lots of cleaning, organizing, and home decor content. So if that is your jam, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything to come. We are headed into the Christmas, Thanksgiving season and I'm gonna have tons of content on my channel shop with me's organizing videos and also just home decor hauls home decor clean and decorate with me all of that kind of stuff so if you guys like i said if that is your thing make sure you subscribe to my channel but today's video we are going to be going over all a whole house organi organizational video. I'm gonna show you guys the affordable products that I use in my home to keep me and my family of four organized. And I'm talking about products that are from Target, Amazon, and even the Dollar Tree, and I'm pointing behind me, and Walmart. So very affordable finds. So if you guys are in the market for organizing and tidying your home, Stay tight, listen to the music, grab a cup of coffee, and let's organize together. Guys, so guys, on our journey to show you all of the organization that I use throughout my home, we are going to start in the kitchen. So I have made a few pantry cleaning videos. All of this organization is extremely affordable. It is from the Dollar Tree, so a dollar a bin, and the tags are from Michael's. So as you can see, I have a few up there. These down here, we moved into our house about two years ago, so they have held up pretty much that whole time. And a newer organization item that I picked up was this Lazy Susan, and I picked it up during the summer months when we were all in quarantine, and it is everything. So for cans and stuff like that, a Lazy Susan is amazing. And that I picked up from Amazon. It was just a few bucks. Um, for our spices, we also have a huge Lazy Susan over here. These are the extra spices. I will show you in a second the ones that we use daily. And then more of those Dollar Tree um, bins. And then this little bin right here is from Home Goods, along with this huge Lazy Susan. So, and then these bins, these plastic ones are from Home Goods as well. And then all of the little tags are from Michaels. I know the dollar store has some, but to be honest, I don't think they're very good quality. Um, the ones from Michaels have held up. I can erase what's on there with a magic eraser and um, they've just held up really well. And then on the bottom, and we keep the excess in the back, I have more of those dollar store bins. So there you go. Pretty much my pantry was organized using dollar store bins and then a few items from Home Goods. So extremely affordable. And then the larger appliances are on the bottom. So like I said, everyday spices, I needed something that could store several everyday spices. And these are the ones, like I said, that we use daily and they are stored here right near the stove and oven. Um, this is a riser from Amazon, um, extremely affordable. Um, I think it was like $6.99 or $7.99 and you can see all of your spices that you have there. organizational item that we are obsessed with in our kitchen. If you have this awkward area where you have a microwave above your refrigerator instead of a range hood, that cabinet up there is always super awkward. So I needed something that was tall that could organize all of our Yeti type cups or to go cups. And I found this organizer from Amazon. It was $29.99 and it goes up and various size cups will to go cups will fit in there and i absolutely love it and it's that acrylic material you guys will notice i like organizational systems that are white gray or clear and then let's make our way to the refrigerator and i'll show you the few items that i have in here to organize so all of my organizational bins, I found the best prices to be at Home Goods. So I have those 
clear acrylic containers. This one was for eggs. It probably was around $6.99. I have a few of these um, bins, acrylic bins. Those were actually from Home Goods as well. I think I got a two pack for around $11 or $12.99. And then the soda, um, which we don't drink soda, we have uh, sparkling water in here. This little container that's also those acrylic, I think, and it came in a, a two pack. I believe it, one, I want to say it came with several others. But um, I love the acrylic bins for the refrigerator. It just keeps things nice and tidy and they're clear. You can see what's in them. My refrigerator is not super organized at the moment, but you can see everything that's in them. And I think it just looks clean and nice in your refrigerator. My way from the kitchen, I'm gonna show you the organizational systems that we have in the bathroom. So for Brookies, and this needs to be wiped down, for Brookies, um, she likes to get ready down here. So, and it's just easier. She'll eat breakfast and then I will do her hair while she's watching TV. So she's distracted, all of those things. But I picked up this little system. It was $3.99 from Home Goods, and it just organizes her toothpaste, her um, hair ties, and then her comb. And then those are the other two things that I use on her hair, but everything's right there and it's organized and it's readily available. And then underneath my cabinets, nothing special under here, but I have these bins underneath all of my bathroom cabinets um, in my house. And they are from Target and they were about $3.99. And they just help hold all of those things that you need. We don't have any kids in diapers, but we still use wipes when she goes number two. You guys know if you have kids, but these are just things that we, band-aids, her lotion, sunscreen for my kids, and then this is a full bathroom, so here is some extra products so when people are staying that they can use. But um, yes, and if you guys are like me, I use, in California, we have to pay for trash bags, so I am not about to pay 10 cents and then not use that trash bag, so. I use these. They don't look pretty, but I pay 10 cents for, for it and it's underneath the sink. So nobody sees it unless you're throwing something away. But let me know in the comments below if you use plastic bags for your trash bins. I buy the other ones. So when we run out of these, so we are in my laundry mudroom area. Um, so I have one of those bins as well, but this one I actually picked up at the, um, why am I drawing a blank? I actually picked this one up from um, Big Lots and it was, I think like $4.99. It's that same basket weave pattern that Target has, but it was a large size and it was really affordable and I keep extra cleaning supplies there. Um, on my channel, I have a whole laundry room organizational video. So if you guys want to, I will link that down below and you can check that out. And then over here, this is a new addition. I picked up this little $9 fine from um, Walmart, like I said, in that gray color. And we had a need to organize mass like we never had before. So I needed a little something extra. And this is what I did. So I picked up also these bins from Walmart. They're um, the little expandable ones. I'll take one chunk out. They come in various sizes, but this is how I organize our mass. So dad and Dom have this area. Um, my husband, his work supplies him with masks, but he has some extra ones. But um, my son is doing online school as of now, but when he goes back to school, I will probably fill this up with more. Um, and then, so that's dad and Dom, their mask. And then this is, these are the masks for Brook, Brookie, that's my three-year-old. So that's for my hubby and my 17-year-old. Brookie, my three-year-old, um, these are her mask, and she goes to school. I actually work at the school that she goes to, and um, I am in administration, but she wears her mask. She has to wear a mask every day. So she has quite a few. And then the ones, when she goes to school, I picked up these little filters um, to put in her mask. They just have like a little slot. 
um, because she's three and they kind of like get moist and wet, but this will soak up all of that stuff. But those are the masks for Brookie. So if anybody's putting them away, cause all of these are, you can wash, they can easily find everybody's spot. And then me, I also have to wear a mask every day when I work, I work five days a week. I'm a full-time working mom. And then mom, these are some of my masks and there are also masks in the washing machine. So we have quite a few masks in our household, but this is my solution, how I figure out how to organize them because they were driving me crazy. And they're right at my three-year-old's level and everybody's level so everybody can grab their own mask. Has room to grow. I love empty shelves, but I keep my label maker down there. And then I label this miscellaneous items. And then on the bottom, shop, shopping overflow. And it's pretty empty right now because we've already made goodie bags and all that stuff for Halloween, but this was really full. So when I buy those items for gifts or things like that, and I just don't want them sitting around the house, I have this and I can organize everything. And this is kind of the leftover stuff. This will go in the fall and Halloween baskets when I clean up all of those items after the holidays so yeah i love this little thing it has wheels on it but it has been a godsend to add that extra organizational um system into our home and it was only nine bucks and the bins inside that's one pack and that was 4.99 so for all of those white bins okay so this is my oldest his drawers, I picked up these little um, room essential organizers. These are from Target. They come in a pack. They're like $12.99 for a bunch. So he has his items here. And then his drawers, the items are just rolled. So they're not organized in any particular order. They're just rolled. Okay. These bins. Um, he has a few of those, and that just organizes some of his items. And then the same thing for his closet. He has a few of those bins up here. So these are the larger ones from Target. And then they are, they range from $5.99 to $9.99. And then these are the smaller ones, but that is how we organize that area. And then these are the smaller bins. My daughter's room, I have more of those same organizers that were in my son's room, but these are in the white color. So we have, they look like this. They come in various sizes. Like I said, I think you pay like $12.99 for a pack of six or seven. And we just have them organizing all of her items. And then this is one of those Walmart organizers that came in the pack, and I use that for her socks. But that is how her drawer is organized. And then her clothes as well are just roll in her closet we have these gray bins from Aldi where we've organized boots, shoes, sneakers and miscellaneous and then there's a large one for like her sleeping bag and items that we rarely use but um that is how I organize that part in her closet and then I also I picked up another another one of those nine dollar bins from um Walmart and for this one she has everyday headbands and I like them because they're low and she can grab her items by herself. So right now there's a lot of Halloween in the front. And then these are ones that she wears regardless of what season we are in. So I have those there. And yeah, these are more of her everyday. So the Halloween ones will go on the bottom when that um, holiday is over. And then this is her theme headbands and I have everything labeled even though she can't read, but if my husband or my son are putting things away, they know where to put things and she knows by how everything looks. And then on the bottom, we have it labeled and it's blankets and these are just additional blankets. So yeah, I love these little bins. Like I said, they were only $9 from Walmart and I picked them up in that gray color.
bathroom. I do have these little bins. I use them more for decorative, but you can organize items in there. So we have extra toilet tissue, some canisters, and then like extra um, wash rags and stuff like that. And these were from Amazon and they were just a few dollars. I think $12.99 for the pair. And then underneath my kids' bathroom sink, I like I said, I have one of those um, Target bins, and they kind of organize all of the hand, the items that we need on hand. Extra sunscreen, extra toothpaste. In their bathroom, I have a lot of extra items, so tons and tons of extra, like the overflow, toothbrushes and stuff for guests, and all of those things. Hallway, I made, I just made a video about this. So there is more of those dollar store bins, one of those Walmart bins, and that is organizing some of my cleaning supplies. And then this bin I got from Walmart a few years ago, and that's just a bunch of miscellaneous items. And then over here, I have this one from Home Goods. It's more decorative. That's why I have it sitting out, but that is organizing all of our mail items. So we bring them up from downstairs if I'm mailing anything off all of that stuff is here and then we have made it to the master bedroom so in here I have more of those Walmart organizers my kids tags when they were born that were on their little wrists um, here I have these little bins and these are actually from Target and they came in a set, I want to say of 12 for about $14.99 and, um, there's different sizes. I will show you more in my other area of my closet, but I have those there and then on my husband's side, more of those Walmart bins and then he has change and it's in one of those little Target bins. And then in our dresser drawers, we these are IKEA organizers and we've had these for 10 plus years and they have held up fantastically. So we have those. So he has one hold system in his um, drawer for underwears and socks and stuff like that. And they look just like the Walmart ones. So if you don't wanna spend the money, don't. Go get the Walmart ones. These ones, I will say the IKEA ones just have um, bigger squares, but um, we have these, this is for my area. It, I'm still so obsessed with it. It is held up fantastically. But um, this system here is actually from Walmart and it holds my husband's shorts, which I love. All of these bins up here are from the dollar store. So they were a dollar a piece and we've had them over two years and they have held up decently. Um, this is stuff that I don't grab very often. So I say, if you're going to grab these items really often, spend a little bit more money and buy, just get a different one. But if it's stuff that you rarely grab, they'll hold up much better. And then over here, I just have some hooks, command hooks that I got from Target and I use those to hang his hats and then also his two most worn belts extra belts are up there but um, a brown one and a black one ones that he wears daily he's a khaki polo guy for work that's what he wears so those are belts that he wears daily depending on the color of his shoes and then no surprise Another one of those $9 Walmart bins. This one is fully dedicated to my husband. So we have PJ shorts and we roll everything. We have PJ shirts and then workout stuff. But yeah, and everything is labeled so everybody knows how to put back all of the items. And then another area, displayed hats. And on the back of my door, those command hooks as well. Brooklyn showers in our bathroom like 10 times out of 10. So her towel is here. And then I don't know about you guys, but we wear pajamas more than once. So we hang them on back of these hooks in the morning when we take them off. And <laughs> I have these bins. I've had them forever. They are from Target. 
Um, I'm not sure the price. I'm sure you can find them as, at Walmart as well. And I probably need to get in here and label them, but this is hair stuff. This is like oils. Um, and then this is nail things because I've been doing my nails this whole time si since March, since we got into quarantine. And in the back, it's just a bucket of like overflow items. And then in our drawers, I didn't clean these, so they are kind of a mess, but this is my husband's kind of everyday toiletry items. Extra stuff, hair gel, lotion, that kind of stuff. Some medicine, my teeth whitening, those things, band-aids. And then this one is my drawer. So hair ties, all of that stuff, headbands. You guys know I'm a headband queen, all of those things. And then on his side, he has a smaller bin like mine that's from Target, and we've had that for a really long time. One of these from Target as well. Um, not sure the price. We've had that for quite some time, but that's how we organize his stuff. I have to get in here and do the labeling. That was a new recent thing, maybe a month ago. So I'll start labeling these items so we can better identify them. But that is it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys got some motivation and inspiration and some ideas about how to organize and tidy the spaces in your home. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more. And don't forget to comment down below. That also really helps out my channel. Um, thank you, guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.